Alright guys, welcome to the second and last bonus episode of the Kirby Trouble Dogs gameplay series. In the last bonus video I created, I just defeated the first two missions, um, the, um, the next two missions of World 6-5, but we're going to finish this. It's time to first head back to World 6-7, considering that I need to complete the square mission yet again. So if you don't mind, give me a minute, please. Alright, I'm in the segment with the square platforms. Alright, that's one. That's two! Alright, that's three so far. Just only two more times. Alright, that's four. One last time. Bam, baby! Okay, that's five times. Let's check that off. Alright, there's one last mission to complete. I have to head back to World 6-5 one last time to complete the final mission. So give me a minute yet again so we can finish this. Okay, the thing about this last mission, leave one mini boss behind, what you basically need to do is you need to leave at least one of the category mini bosses behind. There's a total of four flame gall broses, two Mr. Frosties, one blocky, three bonkers, four gigan edges, four grand release, and one hornhead. With this, it's obvious that sucking up hornhead or blocky would break the mission, but you also need to know that the last flame gall bros and Mr. Frosty at the end of the first area would die. So it's best to leave Mr. Frosty behind. And you need to leave at least one of the flame gall broses behind. Now you can leave this guy around as you wish, but the next two you're gonna see, if you do leave this guy behind, then you have to suck up the other two, okay? Just letting you know. I'm gonna suck up because he's a little bit of a baby. You get what I'm saying? Alright, so now we've rescued the first fairy. We now have to rescue the next, you know, category mini bosses. <laughs> Now, in the next area, you can either get the flame rid of the flame goblins on the left that doesn't have the flame attack, or the right one I'm going with right now that does have the flame attack. I just think that one's a little bit more treacherous than the one on the left, per se. Alright, that's another fairy rescued. Alright. In the next area, skip Blocky, because it will ruin the mission if you do end up sucking him up, so best to skip him. Okay, so we rescued the third fairy. In the next area, you need to also skip Mr. Frosty, as it will also break the mission if you do end up sucking him up. Okay, this is the situation I was talking about earlier. Both of them will die instantly, so that's why you need to leave Mr. Frosty behind. Alright. Now that we have rescued the fourth fairy, let's move on to the next area. You can either get rid of this one on the left that does have the hammer attack, or the one on the right that doesn't, but if you do suck up both of the bonkers, keep in mind it doesn't break the mission. There is one at the end, just make sure you don't suck them up. Regardless, if you do have one bonkers behind, once you rescue the fifth berry, in the next area with the three giga niches, you can either get rid of these two on the left and leave the one on the right alone, or the opposite, and you can get rid of the two on the sides and then leave the one in the middle below, but it, alone, but it can be a little bit difficult. So, if you do set up all three, as I said earlier, it doesn't count as breaking the mission either, so keep that in mind. If there's a Giga Edge at the end, just make sure you don't suck him up. This is a little bit of a tough one, because you want, if you want to leave one of the Grand Release in the foreground behind, then you need to suck up one of the Grand Release in the foreground, and then you need to reset the room. This way you can suck up the one in the background a little easier. Keep in mind that sucking all three Grand Release doesn't count as breaking the, doesn't count as breaking the mission either. 
There's one last one at the end. Just don't, just make sure you don't suck him up. Nah, that guy's left behind. Regardless, if you have one of these mini boss behind, then after rescuing the seventh fairy, you need to avoid sucking up Hornhead, as it will break the mission if you do end up sucking him up. Be extremely careful. This is what I do. Right, that didn't work. Holy cow, that was too close! Now, if you didn't suck up Hornhead, the mission is not completed just yet. All you need to do now is rescue the last fairy and meet Flowery Woods. Once there, suck him up. This way, the Flowery Woods is finally done. All you have left to do is just enter the last door, which is the gold door. Either way, once you enter through the gold door, the mission will be essentially completed, okay? Just make sure you have one of each of the mini bosses behind and you're good to go. It's a very difficult mission to get down and it will take a couple of attempts, but eventually it does get easier. So as you just saw, leave one of each mini boss and you'll complete the mission in no time. Alright guys, I now completed every mission in World 6. All that's left to do is now take on the final five bo the final three bosses in the last level. Well, that's going to essentially wrap things up for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the second bonus episode and the last one overall. Of course, if you did, let me know in the comments of what you think of this video. Give it a like, give it a favorite, I won't take any offense from it. But nevertheless, that's essentially going to be it for this video. You can check out the others that I show on screen, go ahead and subscribe, and everything else above. Nevertheless, this is Andre Boulay as always, with of course, the final bonus episode and episode number 9. See you next time.